up curls crew and welcome again to my channel if you are new here welcome i am k curls today i will be showing you guys my flexi rod routine so if you guys would like to see how i got to these lovely bouncy shiny glamorous curls <laughs> then please stay tuned <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm starting off with my hair already pre-sectioned into four sections. I do have a small section in the front that I want to make sure that I separate because I don't want like a direct part in the middle and I do want my curls to be able to fall directly forward and not have that weird line that's in the front of your head. So I am just going to be using my Cantu products and I am using my moisturizer and also the Twist and Lock Gel. I am going to apply that directly to my hair. And then as you guys just seen, I'm going to take a brush. I'm going to smoothen out my hair, grab any stray pieces that you see and just twist that around the rod like you saw there. And twist the length of your hair completely up and then secure it. So I'm going to show you guys this a few more times so you can see exactly how it is done. I'm just going to separate my hair into smaller sections. I am again going to apply the moisturizer and then also the gel directly to that section. Then I'm going to brush it over so that I can get it as smooth as possible. Yes! <laughs> and then I do want to note that I didn't want to have these the length of my hair so I didn't make the curls longer I wanted to make my curls a little bit shorter so you guys can see I am starting about two inches off of the bottom of my hair and then I'm going to wrap this up a little bit tighter so when I'm twisting you guys will see that I am NOT spreading it up the full length of the rod I'm just doing it halfway if you do want your curls to be longer don't stop halfway like I do. Just take it up the full length of the rod and then you will get the longer curls. The reason why I don't do it like that is because my curls always drop and they usually drop the first day. So my curls are going to get a little bit longer after the first day and then I like to see it get a little bit fuller from there. So I like to start with mine as small and shrunken as possible. So again, yes, just wrap that hair around. Give your hand a good twisting motion. Make sure everything stays nice and smooth. If it doesn't, do not be afraid to unroll it and roll it again. Because sleeping on this, guys, is super duper uncomfortable. And you want to make sure that if you are sleeping on these, you do not want to waste that experience of not sleeping on these things and not coming out right. Okay? So I am just going to let this play out and let you guys watch and see what is going on. And I will make an appearance throughout the video as well as some little Christmas surprises that I threw in there. Well, holiday surprises. <laughs>
Okay guys, so this is what it looks like when it is completely put in. I am going to allow this to dry overnight, hence my jammies. <laughs> so, see you guys in the morning. Night. Yes, we are awake. And now it is time for us to just spray some oil all around. Make sure you get some on your hands as well because when you're touching your hair, you want to make sure that you don't dry it out. And you don't want to manipulate your curls as much yet because you want to make sure that they can fall in place and lock into that curl pattern that you have from the rod. So just gently go around and take all of the rods off. If you need to, just apply a little bit more oil to your fingers as you take them off. And then I'll be back to let you guys see me break them all apart. Okay, so... Just untwist it, don't pull it. Untwist it, don't pull it. Untwist it, don't pull it. Okay, just keep that in your head. Untwist it, don't pull it. <laughs> and then you are going to do fine, ladies. Okay guys, so what we are going to do now is we are going to, I tried to tell you guys, but then I fast forwarded it, but <laughs> uh, now we are just going to take each one of those curls and we are going to break it apart into three to five individual sections a piece. And then just take your finger and twirl the curl back into place. If it does fall apart, it will just go right back into the curl. As long as you twirl it around your finger. And if you do want to go in and break them apart more than three to five pieces, I don't like mine as big because like I said, my hair falls and it also gets very fluffy very quickly. So I just wanted to make sure that 
I separated them enough so that I can give myself some volume and I can have some nice curls all over my head and they didn't just look like they came directly off of the ride. <laughs> So now I'm just going to continue to do this until I have my desired look. And you guys are going to do the same thing to your desired look. Everyone's face is different. We all have different shapes and sizes. So you want to make sure that you frame this to your face the way that you like it. And then I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that I tried to style it in a little bit after I am done. So just keep watching. Next, I am just going to grab a comb and I am going to start to pick out at my roots and then also a little bit throughout my hair so that I can give this a little bit of a fuller look. You guys can pick as much as you want and even into like the middle section of the hair, so not the root, not the end, the midsection, that'll give you a lot fluffier look if that's what you're going for. I decided not to go for the super fluffy look, but yes, I love these girls. Um, so then I'm just going to show you guys a few quick ways to style it. So you can style it as a bang the way that I just showed you or you can style it off to the side you can do a middle part you can style this up or you can put it over have a little bit of the bang hanging out or pull it all over to the side like I did here which is one of my personal favorites <laughs> okay so next I'm just going to be grabbing my edge control and I'm going to work that into my edges I'm not usually a person who likes to really like deck out my edges but I do like a smoother cleaner look and then that will be it you guys okay guys so this is what it looks like when it is all pulled out and fluffed out i decided to style mine on the side you guys can continue to fluff it out if you would like to i like mine at about this level and then over time it's gonna fall so it's not gonna stay as short it is definitely gonna stretch itself out a little bit as the curls begin to fall so it will get a little bit fuller over time so I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.